Now let's cover even more time-saving tips on the web dashboard and when you're on the go. In this section, we'll cover finding unclassified drives, classifying with your notifications, bulk classifying a weekend, bulk editing details like adding a vehicle to many drives, managing your name locations, setting up work hours, and classifying an entire day's worth of drives right on your phone with one tap. First, we'll start with how do you find your unclassified drives quickly for the past month? So on the dashboard, I will go to the date filter to select last month to just filter in my drives from last month. I'll click unclassified and below you'll see I just had two drives that were unclassified for December. So I'll use the check mark next to the date to select all drives from this day. And then I can classify them all as airport travel with one click. So I'll navigate to my drives from this year by clicking year to date in the calendar filter. Um, now I'll filter in just the unclassified drives by tapping unclassified, but this also works for any filter. Um, I can do all my business drives, I can do a combination of my commute and personal drives without a specific purpose. I can click in them to activate it, click them again to deactivate it. But here you can mix business and personal drives to filter in just the drives that you either want to interact with um, select them all or report. Um, and you can deselect them by hitting that checkbox again and clear all filters by hitting that clear button. Uh, what you can also do is just select a single day's worth of drives by hitting the check mark next to the date. This way, if you just need to classify a weekend as personal or just your uh, middle drives throughout the day, leaving your commutes unchecked. You can edit all drives at the same time. Uh, you could change a vehicle or a purpose. If these drives were taken as a passenger, you could bulk delete the drives by hitting the delete button in the bottom right corner. But yeah, it's really up to you. So I'll check my Friday drives and my Thursday drives so they're all selected and I'll classify them as business. Now those drives are gone, I'll classify the rest of these weekend drives as personal. But if I make a mistake, I can go to the top of the screen, tap undo, and that will revert my last action. So I can classify all these as business instead. I could head to the top, click on unclassified drives, and as you can see, no unclassified drives left. So this is a great way to keep up on your classifications on the go or on your computer. But what happens if I didn't set up a primary vehicle this year? And since drives need a vehicle, I'll show you how to update these quickly. I could go to year to date, filter in drives without vehicles, select all my drives, and then apply Terry, my nickname vehicle, to all these drives. There, I'm all set. Let's go back to all drives and now let's quickly classify the drives that need classification. So I'll select all of Sunday, all of Saturday, and now I'll bulk classify these as personal for this weekend getaway. I can unselect them by hitting the check boxes. You can also see that unclassified drives are zero. If I need to bring those drives back, I can do that. But remember, you can just undo your last action on the dashboard. And if you navigate to the reports tab or settings, then you can no longer undo. So bulk classifying on the web dashboard is a great way to get up to date on your drives. And to stay up to date on your drives, I would suggest enabling drive reminders. This feature uh, presents notifications after every drive or once a day that allow you to force touch and classify a drive without even opening the app. To do so, touch and hold the notification until the business or personal options appear and then tap the classification. And right now this feature is only available on iPhone 6 or newer. So one of the best time-saving tips to use is really the work hours feature. Listed under your settings and auto classification, you can enable it at any time on the app or dashboard. So by default, it's set to 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays. That's so Monday through Friday. So every drive that takes place outside of this time range will get automatically classified as personal, leaving only your drives that take place within this range that you can classify as business, add additional information, specific purposes, you can do as much as you want with them as you need to. You can adjust the time frame for the whole week by clicking in one of the fields, adjusting the time, and then hitting save. 
Now you've changed it to 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for Monday through Friday. If you have a more complex schedule, go for it. Click the button and set up your entire schedule per day. You can add and remove shifts. You can adjust the end time for a specific day, working later on Tuesday, Wednesday to make up for work on Monday. Just remember to hit save after each one. This takes a brief amount of setup, but then this will save you hours and hours of time in the future. You can add an additional shift to your Friday. Maybe you pick up a bartending shift after work. You can add a day on the weekend. I'll speed up the video just so you can see all the different actions that you could take and different schedules, whether you're taking days away or adding them. As long as you have regular hours week to week, I would definitely recommend this feature. Now just remember, once you've set up a schedule, if you ever disable it, it'll reset the entire work schedule. So just keep that in mind as you're making your edits. So one of the best time-saving tips for when you're on the go is the Drive Classifier widget for iPhones and iPads. This feature shows all of your unclassified drives for the day right on your home screen, so you don't even need to open the app to classify them. The work hours will handle all your personal drives, while the Drive Classifier widget can handle the rest. To access it, just swipe left on your home screen, scroll down to the bottom tab, Edit. We'll scroll down again and find My IQ Drive Classifier, and hit the plus sign. Here we've added it to our widget list, so we'll drag it to the top, just so it's always easy to find. Now that we have the Mile IQ Drive Classifier widget installed, we can classify entire day's worth of drives with one tap as business or personal. We can also tap Show More so you can select specific drives to classify in bulk right from your phone. Using this feature with our Work Hours feature, which automatically classifies all your personal drives, gives you the power and control over your business drives to review and classify daily. So last up, we'll cover renaming and creating new location names using the Name Location feature. I will uh, search for all my work drives. Those are drives to the location work. Um, and I want to rename this so that all of my past drives that go to this work location uh, get this new name, Office. Now you can see as I'm searching for work, no drives are showing up. So I can delete this. Now look for office drives. Now I can see that all those drives that had the work label have been replaced with an office label. So this is great when you want to update all those past drives and all future drives as well as this current selected drive with this new label. So as I'm looking through, I'm actually looking for this office to Mission Bay drive. Um, this actually wasn't to the office. This was to a very nearby pharmacy that was a part of the same building. So if I change this name to pharmacy and then I select create new location name, all my drives in the future as well as this individual drive will get this pharmacy label. You might be asking, well, what if I continue to go to the office and the pharmacy trips just a rare once a month if that trip? I'll show you how I'd recommend setting this up. So as I search for office, none of the drives that have pharmacy are showing, which makes sense. So I'll search for pharmacy. Let me scroll up. Um, we see that just the one drive with pharmacy. And instead of having the entire location named pharmacy, we could just add this information to the notes for this individual drive. And since everything's searchable that's in the notes, um, this is uh, probably the best bet for this unique situation. So I'm going to undo that location name so that it reverted to office. I'll find that drive. So I will add pharmacy to the notes. You could add pharmacy visit, picking up medicine, whatever it is you need. And I'm going to change the purpose to personal. So now that pharmacy is in the notes, it'll be included in any reports I do. I can also search for any drives with pharmacy in the notes by just typing in pharmacy in the search bar. And that way I don't affect my office drives in the future and I can still have my pharmacy labeled drive.